Hey everybody, thanks for stopping into the video. This is my very first Animal Crossing video on my YouTube channel. You will notice I have not posted anything in quite some time, so I took a break from making videos. I had a lot going on um, in my personal life with schoolwork and other things, and I just didn't have the time to do certain things basically, but now I'm back and hopefully to post content a little more often. So. Today is February 15th Festival in Animal Crossing. Now, unfortunately, this holiday is only for one day, and this video I'm making is kind of late my time, but hopefully um, some people will still get to see it and enjoy it and have some fun. So right now, we're just checking out my plaza here. Um, now, if you've been playing Animal Crossing, you'll already know that uh, Nook's Cranny had some items you could buy um, leading up to the festival. Um, I logged in every single day for the simple fact to make sure to buy the said items and actually while I'm thinking about it I don't remember if you can buy them in here um, for some reason I have a I have a crappy feeling that you can't so we're gonna go down to the festival items and look um, which I assume we'll start with festivals so let's ha let's have a quick look here and see um, we are almost there, I swear. Here we go. Yeah, isn't that crappy? So you you can't buy them, but um, yeah. But anyways, I was lucky enough to buy the balloon, the confetti machine, the drum, the flag, the garland, the lamp, the parasol, the stage, and the stall. I, where I logged in each day. Uh, so that looks like to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is that right? Nine days of items. So. Anyways, I was lucky enough to log in, get all those, um, and I just kind of had them sitting on the island in a random spot, but today where it's festival, there's a few different things you can do. Um, when you talk to Pave for the first time, he gives you this recipe for rainbow feather. So the big thing about today is, you know, people generally are running around on their islands probably gathering feathers, and you can see I've already gathered quite a few, but red is the least for some reason. I'm not quite sure if this is a situation where um, your residents, if they're not wearing, uh, many people aren't wearing red, if maybe it just uh, doesn't show up as much. I'm not too sure. But let's let's look up now. Just look at everybody having a great time here. We even have a feather to get catch. Almost everybody on my island is here dancing, enjoying themselves, so uh, another thing in Nook's Cranny, you can buy reactions, so the the book, uh, it's not really a book, it's a card, but it's, to me, it's for festival, you learn confetti, that's the first one, the second one is Viva, <laughs> the third one is Let's Go, which... I don't really know what it's supposed to be, but anyways, uh, the last one is feeling it. It's dancing, basically, which you can see everybody's dancing. But next, let's talk to Pave and see what he has to say. You are here to give Pave the feathers that Pave requires. Are you not? Do not answer. Pave knows. Oh my. Plumage. Pave cannot believe Pave's eyes. You have bought a rainbow feather. It is so nice. It is so festival. It is so very pave. Will it belong to pave? Sure. Take the rainbow feather. Yes, give it to pave. Give now. This is my only one right now, too, that he's getting. <laughs> ah ha ha ha! Viva rainbow! Now he's gonna dance. He does his little dance and shake. Copy pave's feet. Viva festival! <laughs> And then I was excited when these feathers showed up earlier. I thought, oh, I can collect them. No, you can't collect them. This pleases Pave. This is the spirit of Festival. Success, the reward is a job well done. Pave jokes, Pave gives the Festival lamp. So he's giving me, it's so far with exploring with this. Um, you are living the spirit of festival. Can you do this? Pavi demands it. More feathers. Okay. What did he just give me? Was it a lamp? Um, so, so far, these are the trades that I've done with him off screen. I've done three blue feathers, which gave me a blue drum. A rainbow feather, which gave me a rainbow stall. 
a rainbow feather which gave me a stage and now a lamp so i'm gonna go and take you guys over to um the other section of the island where i've been doing some other stuff and along the way we are going to grab feathers obviously because why not because i mean that's really what today is about it's about grabbing feathers and never be complaining about red and a red feather showed up <laughs> Do, do, do. Here we go. So this is the items that I need to edit with rainbow feathers, which is just one. I was remember I told you guys I bought items. These were all green. I've been able to collect enough rainbow feathers or make rainbow feathers with the recipe I showed you earlier uh, to edit my items to this wonderful purple color. Whoops. These are the items I've got from Pave. So the new item is a lamp which is going to be a rainbow, I'm guessing. That's awesome. <laughs> we're going to grab that, and we're going to go quickly to the um, workbench where I can show you guys how to um, fix it. Not fix it, I mean customize it. See, here's the thing. The other day, I had all the items I bought in my inventory, and then I picked up my customization kits, thinking, okay, I can go customize these to be purple, because I saw in a dream... Um, I was streaming on Twitch and one of the dreams I was in the items were uh, purple festival colors so I thought customization kit come to find out you need rainbow feathers so I was very wrong about that <laughs> um, I did write down what each thing requires though so we're working on the stage right now which requires two feathers um, as you can see I don't have rainbow feathers but I have enough feathers to make rainbow feathers so we will go ahead and oh that's not what I want to do sorry let's try again <laughs> we'll go ahead and uh, we'll craft these feathers all right I think for the hell of it we're gonna craft five of these bad boys because I currently have five red feathers so let's do five so far I'm enjoying the festival um, if you're like me and you've logged in every day before the festival you probably have lucked out with being able to buy the clothes as you can see i've bought clothes for it she's wearing an outfit right now minus that uh mask that mask was from way before now but i picked it up anyways <clears throat> okay there we go let's do it now we shall edit our stage and have a purple stage. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm in the wrong screen. I apologize. Let's try this again. Okay. Customize. That's what we want to do. And as you can see, I now have two feathers. So this is my original color, um, but I can change it to red, blue, purple, and rainbow. I'm definitely going with the purple because that's like one of my favorite colors. I've been also making a list um, of what I've edited, and now I've edited all of the items other than a stall, which is currently um, in another area, so I can't really edit that right now. <laughs> all right. So, like I said, the clothes have been a thing I've been able to pick up daily, thankfully. Now, here's, here's the good news. If you have Able Sisters, I went into my shop today, and my shop has all of the headpieces, all of the suits and all of the dresses, all of the colors. The colors are, as you see here, what I'm wearing, uh, the purple, pink color, blue, orange, red, and green. Um, let's go down here. And of course, you know, because I feel I have to grab any feathers on the way. Um, another thing too, if you talk to your villagers during this, uh, some of them may notice you have a feather that they want and they'll uh, offer up a trade. And for the trading, like, I mean, it'd be just one feather, but if you're not in a stack, it would be three. But if you don't want to do a stack, I'm not sure if you can break it up, um, which would be nice, obviously. But, and now as you can see, <laughs> as you see, some of these are hard to get, which is really annoying. They blow around and... Hmm. Also, if you're paying attention to the writing on the screen, each feather gives, she says something different. So for the red, I caught a red feather. The passion, it is so overwhelming. <laughs> okay. 
we're gonna give this one more go, but I don't know if she'll be able to get it. Oh, she did, cool. Okay, now we can add our stage over here because I have now completed getting everything to the purple color uh, minus the stall, which I might do later, I'm not sure. But as you can see, it looks really nice. Um, I like how it turned out. Oh. Now, here, here's a few, just a few kind of things that I don't like about the festival. I'm, I'm not liking that it only appears to be for 24 hours. Um, I guess, here's why I don't like it. Being that I like to create content and stuff, like it makes it hard for a content creator to um, really dive into it and do a, a good in-depth video, if you know what I mean. But if you can do everything in a quick enough amount of time, then I suppose it's going to be fine. Um, let's go back to Pave. That's really all the holiday is, so it's everybody dancing, dressed up, and uh, collecting feathers for Pave. So let's give him another rainbow feather and just see what happens. I'm going to press the writing a little bit quicker this time. Oh. I'm curious what item he's going to give me. What did he give me last? Was it a lamp, I think? <clears throat> I'm also wondering if um doing this if you can get uh like a special item possibly from trading with him because i've traded one two three four times so far i think so what is he going to give me this time he's going to give me garland so i'm going to have rainbow garland um so that's cool so i'm guessing what's going to happen is he's going to give me everything i already have in rainbow color more than likely and then perhaps on the uh on the last uh, trade, um, once those items are completed, I mean, maybe he'll give me something I don't have or can't have, because uh, I'm thinking for festival they've they've hopefully made it in such a way that y you at least have that. Um, let's go ahead and put this down. So there we go. This is what we've received from trading feathers, and this over here is from me editing uh, or customizing. I mean. So yeah, as you can see, the, hol the holiday is relatively fun if you're into that type of thing. Uh, it gives you something to do, lots of grinding and whatnot. And what I'm going to do, this video, of course, this can only be for so long. So, you know, it's going to have to be uh, cut short. But um, I'll do a blog post on my website in more detail about it. And that blog post, I'll perhaps contain uh, information I wasn't able to get um, in the video, basically. All right. But anyways... Thank you for stopping by. If you like my content, please feel free to uh, leave a comment, like the video, uh, follow, subscribe. And I'll also include the links below for Twitter because um, that's when I post uh, giveaways and when I'm going live and other content. And then Twitch if you want to ever watch me playing games on Twitch. Thank you.